Am I the asshole for refusing to take off my cross necklace for my sister's wedding? So my 25 female sister, Cindy, 29 female, is getting married in three months and she asked me to be her maid of honor. Of course I said yes. Cindy and I have always been fairly close. Well, I mean, we definitely have our issues, but nothing too serious. Okay, so anyways, I have a small cross necklace that my grandpa gave me when I was 13. I wear it 24 seven unless I'm taking a shower or going swimming. I wear the necklace not only for sentimental reasons, but for religious purposes. Needless to say, it's extremely important to me. A few days ago, Cindy and I were going dress shopping together. Cindy's five other bridesmaids were also there. So while I was trying on one of the dresses, Cindy made a comment about my necklace. She told me that I have to take my necklace off during the wedding because it clashes with the dress and the theme. I was pretty taken aback because I don't see why she should have any say in what I wear. I told her that while I understand that it's her wedding, I will not take off the necklace. She knows how important my necklace is to me and that I almost never take it off. I couldn't believe that she would even ask me that. Cindy started to get upset and kept insisting that I could take off the stupid necklace for just one day. At this point, I thought that I was being attacked for my beliefs and I was getting extremely frustrated. So I told her that my decision was final. She was so pissed. She told me that if some piece of gaudy jewelry was so important, then I'm no longer welcome in her wedding. I was heartbroken that she would say that to me. So I started to get emotional. I quickly changed out of the dress and left the shop. I was humiliated that my sister talked to me like that in front of all of her friends. Now, all of the bridesmaids are on Cindy's side. They said that I'm being uptight and that what Cindy wants should be my top priority. But she should have never expected me to take off my necklace for her stupid wedding. At this point, I don't even think I'm going to go. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for giving my dog an offensive name and then refusing to change it? I have several dogs, one of which is an American Akita. His name is Yankee. I thought it was funny and he seems to like his name. My sister was in the States the past two years and recently flew home with her boyfriend in tow. First time we've met him, yada yada yada. I guess she never mentioned me or my dogs, but he was pretty surprised when I told him my dog's name. I didn't think much of it. Most of my pets do have peculiar names, so I assumed it was just an overall reaction. After they left, I started up dinner. Halfway through my meal, my sister called and asked if I consider changing my dog's name. I kind of thought she was kidding, but she reiterated that she was serious. The name Yankee had upset her boyfriend quite badly, and he found it very offensive. I basically told her to screw off and to tell him to grow up before going back to my food. The following day, they literally show up at my door. I was kind of taken aback. Apparently, they came to tell me why the name Yankee was so awful. During this discussion, he told me it was essentially a slur used against Americans. And then he asked if I would ever name a dog the N-word. I just kind of laughed and told him that he was off his nut. It was not that deep or that serious. You can't equate the word Yankee to something like the N-word. I told him I wasn't going to change my dog's name. My dog knows his name and it would take so much work to make him learn a new one. They eventually left, but still seemed pretty upset with my decision. Thinking back now, I'm pretty sure there's a company with Yankee in the name. I wonder how many letters of complaint he sent. Anyway, I did message my American friends just to make sure I wasn't being a prick. They all agreed that he was being stupid. But I know the U.S. is huge and it might be more of a regional thing, so I'm not really sure. I'm starting to feel like kind of an asshole for not taking him seriously when maybe it was a genuine issue for him. So I need to know, am I the asshole? And is this an issue in the States that I should apologize for? Am I wrong for pulling out of my best friend's wedding because I'm not the maid of honor? My female 27 best friend female 25 of 10 years is getting married. Some background. My friend lost her father and her two older sisters in a tragic car accident seven years ago. I was her shoulder to cry on. She became attached to me as a second sister and grew closer to her only living sibling, her brother. She doesn't talk much about her relationship, so I was surprised and excited when she showed us her engagement ring. Maybe it was presumptuous of me, but I thought that I was going to be her maid of honor. She didn't bring it up after the engagement announcement, but I didn't think much of it at the time. 
Fast forward to yesterday when our group of friends got together and one brought up a conversation about the wedding. My best friend said that she was planning on formally inviting us all to be in her wedding party. I excitedly asked her who was going to be her maid of honor, thinking it was going to be me. But then she said that it was going to be her brother, male 29, instead. I blew up. I told her that it was ridiculous that she was going to choose her brother, a man, to be a man of honor. That literally makes no sense. She looked at me like she was confused and upset, reminding me of how much her brother means to her. I reminded her that I'm her best friend and that she's taking this opportunity from me. She started to cry and then she apologized, but said that her mind was made up and that her brother deserved the role. I was so mad and I told her that I wouldn't be attending her wedding and that I couldn't believe that my best friend of 10 years would betray me like this. All of our friends think that I'm being dramatic, but I'm really pissed off. I've been there for her for all these years and she doesn't choose me to be her maid of honor? I mean, I get that she's close to her brother and she's honoring her lost family, but it's kind of ridiculous to have a bunch of girls as bridesmaids and then a man to be a man of honor. I'm honestly heartbroken. So am I being overly dramatic? Am I the asshole for not canceling my wedding after the death of my father-in-law? I, 26 female, am getting married in less than two weeks. My father-in-law passed away two weeks ago because of lung cancer after three months of hospice care. In my husband's family, it's customary to have 100 days without any kind of celebrations as a mourning. My in-laws are pushing me to call off the wedding since they claim it would violate the mourning period. And they said it would be highly inappropriate and disrespectful to have a wedding less than a month after he passed. I refused. The plane tickets of many of the guests have been booked months ago. Many of my guests are flying abroad, 10 hour flight roughly. The venue and catering have already been paid for. Although the passing of my father-in-law is extremely painful, I do not believe that it's okay to call up the whole wedding. My parents fully support my decision and my fiance partly wants to go on with the wedding. All of my sibling-in-laws are calling me an asshole and all of them and their children are refusing to attend the wedding. I feel really bad for my husband because he's going to be almost alone since his siblings are most of his guests. But planning this wedding has taken many months and resources from both of our families. We knew that my father-in-law was going to pass soon, but we definitely thought that we were going to have more time. So when we planned the wedding, we didn't take into account how much longer he had to live. Now that my fiance's siblings are taking it so hard, he's heavily conflicted. But I really don't want to cancel my big day. So am I the asshole? If you really have to ask a question like this on the internet, then you really have something wrong with you. The only person whose opinion should matter is her fiance. And if he's not okay with having the wedding right after his dad passed, then she needs to be okay with that. Just let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this one? Because I'm kind of triggered.